I begin with a charcoal sketch on ampersand board that has been coated with gesso or zinzer primer. And then I begin to add the grisaille layer, the gray layer with values, with white and raw umber oil paint. Laying the values in quickly in a mosaical fashion, just looking at the simple shapes as if they were mosaical tile pieces. I periodically soften an area when I have it completely covered with a mop brush. I use goat hair mops and little small sable watercolor brushes for small details. I'm totally fine with the first layer being blurred. The second layer, I'll come back in and begin to add more detail and correct my values. Mopping it out in between layers. The finished painting should be standalone because all the glazes will be transparent and you can see through them. I use bronze wool or very fine steel wool to remove any oil and to create a better adhesion for the oil glazes. Be sure to wipe all the debris off with a soft cotton cloth. I completely cover the entire painting with a thin coat of glaze just quickly with a flat sable soft brush. Several layers of glaze it will create the translucent look that's so beautiful with the glazing process. I use a mop brush to soften any areas of glaze that get drip, drippy or thick. The mop brush acts as a wick. I like to begin laying details into the wet layer and using the soft mop brush to melt them into the skin. I'm always working in little mosaical masses, going back to the darks and redrawing. It will look rather garish, but you can lay color into the wet layer and then mop it in and it will melt and create really beautiful transitions. At this point, you can see I've introduced some white on the light places on her cheeks and the bridge of her nose and her forehead. So I'll heighten the, the white areas with opaque paint and then work those into the glazed areas. Several more layers will go on. I like to get the eyes done early on. I also I'm adding some cool tones, just little specks of paint, and using the mop brush to blend those into the skin tone. I changed the color of her blouse to a viridian color. I'm not sure about the color yet, but that I like that better than the purple. I have not worked on the roses or the hair or the background. I'm working on her skin tone while it's wet. I'll need to make sure it's totally dry before I go back and work on it again. And the next layer will, will be done exactly the same way. I'll coat the entire painting with a very thin coat of tinted color and then work into those wet areas with, with some opaque and some bright colors. So each layer will build that beautiful, glowy look that only 
comes with glazing and looks so beautiful, especially when lit.